Hey everyone, it's Mike from Lifestyle Boudoir. In the last few videos, I've shown you sessions with $99 lenses and simple lighting. Today I want to cover with you about the most cost-effective light source that you can shoot boudoir with. Roll intro. So today we're going to talk about the type of light that I use for at least half the session for every client I photograph. Window light. So let's get into it. Okay, here's my window and my balcony door. As you can see, the light is huge. It's way bigger than most soft boxes or umbrellas that you can buy. Now, other than a tiny window in my bathroom, this is the only natural light that my place gets. The light can be super soft or hard and direct, and it can be modified or reflected to change the properties of the light. In the morning, the sun bounces off the building across from me, which is painted this creamy white color. And when the sun hits it and bounces in, it fills my space with really warm light that's great for skin tones. But if I wanted to cool it down, all I would need to do is shoot a custom white balance. In the mid-afternoon, I get really soft light because it's not bounced off the building or direct. It's just coming from the open sky, so it fills the room with just really soft light. And lastly, there's later in the afternoon. That's when I get direct sunlight coming in. That's when controlling it becomes even more important. But if you take the time to observe these things and you know how to modify the light, you can do wonderful things with just window light. So let's talk about modifying the light. First, when I moved in, the Venetian blinds were already here, so that was free. Next, the shears. The shears were really inexpensive. For about 25 bucks, I got shears to cover both the window and the balcony door and the spring rods that hold them in place. I like the spring rod idea because I can just pull them down if I want to and not have to think about it. So here's some images I created with just the shears with the blinds raised so it's just a big open window with shears in front of it. Take a look at the images. Now I promise you there's a lot more samples and info yet to come, but I wanted to take a minute to remind you that a very quick like and subscribe will help my channel grow and would be greatly appreciated. So as you just saw, these are some really pretty images I created using just the shears. Next we're going to talk about the Venetian blinds. Here are some photos that I created using nothing but the Venetian blinds to control the light. So for the first four years I was in this space, I only used the shears or the Venetian blinds to control the light. But about a year ago, I splurged. I decided to go all in and get some blackout curtains. Now the blackout curtains were, oh, about a total of $22. It was $12 for the blackout curtains and another $10 for the rod that holds them up. $22. Now I have a lot more control. By the way, I got these on Amazon and that's where I get the $22 price. Take a look now at what I can do using the blackout curtains. Now let's talk about a few other ways you can modify the window light. 
Let's say you want it even more diffused, or you have direct sunlight coming in and you want it to be softer. You can always get one of these large white pop-open diffusers to cover the window and further soften the light. But if you're really on a budget, you can literally just get a white translucent plastic shower curtain to cover the window with, or something you probably already have, a white bed sheet. Both of those will work to further soften the light. Now, what if you need to bounce a little fill light in? You can always use one of these little five-in-one, or this one's actually a two-sided pop open reflector. This one's white and silver. This was really inexpensive. This one's made by Rogue. I think it was like 30 bucks or something like that. So not very expensive. Or if you want to go all in, you can use a white V-flat. Now V-flats can be a little pricey. But once you have it, you pretty much have it forever. There's a couple of different kinds. There's the ones from V-Flat World, which are the, the foam core ones that fold up to about four foot by four foot. Um, and those work really great. My only issue with them is eventually the Velcro on them fails and you have to replace it, which of course then you risk tearing the paper. This one that you see behind me, this one I got from Strobe Pro, and it folds up, it's a uh, aluminum frame with cloth coverings, and the cloth coverings are vinyl, and they're washable, so you can literally spot clean them. Uh, and this one, I, even though it folds down, so you can take it with you to other places. This just stays up in my studio the whole time. And it's been a godsend because it never breaks. It never has to have Velcro replaced. Um, I'm really happy with this purchase. And frankly, it was cheaper than the phone core ones that I got from V-Flat World. So I do recommend this. It did take a little time to come. I guess they were back ordered or something, but it was absolutely worth the price, and I do highly recommend it. Well, that's how I use and modify my window light. How about you? Do you use window light in your portrait work? I feel many photographers overcomplicate things and definitely invest way too much money in their equipment. Sometimes they don't even end up using it. But hopefully, with what I've shown you today, you can see that Sometimes the simplest lighting is gonna produce the most beautiful results and your clients are gonna be thrilled. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.